are in jail. Just for like 10 minutes. Are we going to Stockholm? No, sir. Just watching shifting dreams, I think. How long have we been at home for? Two days. We're already getting bored. Yeah, sure. We've been in Sweden for probably seven and a half minutes. And Caroline's already shocked at how expensive it is. No, I'm just uh, trying to understand the conversion thing. How much was our train to the to the city from the airport? Something like a hundred. Fifty euros each, roughly. Yeah, but if it's way in back. Not bad for a twenty-minute train. But then again, it's not that much more expensive than London. You're gonna have to slow down your drinking. You can't you can't get drunk every night like you do at home here. Maybe that's why Norway wanted us to stay as little time as possible. Yeah. It's interesting this. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's literally like we're going into a cave. It's as interesting as the metro. Yeah, but it's clean. It doesn't stink of piss. Not like the Paris or the London metro. Maybe it's like the Tokyo metro. I wonder if they have good sushi here. You look like you're wrapped up well, Carolina. We're in t-shirts in Marseille. You're the tour guide. You're the boss. Where are we going? I think we're going to the old city. And what's in the old city? I don't know. Apart from old buildings. I think it's a bit pretty. Okay. Alright Carolina, well we're here. What do you want to do now? I don't know. <laughs> Apart from being being old and pretty, is there anything special to do here? Or you I don't know. That's enough for you. I want food. First. Not food. Okay, well that has to then be an automatic direct priority for me. Because when Caroline's hungry, she's also grumpy. Maybe this is a speciality of Stockholm. So Carolina, I think I found how I, I would like to do our garage door that we have to open on our house. Just a giant door made of sandstone boulders. Are you content? I don't know, I need to take my first bite. Because again, I get the bigger plate. <laughs> ever had a reindeer pizza? I don't think many people have ever had a reindeer pizza. It's good. Can I have some? Well, technically, I just ate cheese. Me too. Go on, eat your first bit of reindeer. I'm sweaty. And cold at the same time, that's amazing, no? Where are we going today, Carolina? We're going to the Vasa Museum. What's the, the Vasa Museum? I've got no idea. I saw it's number one attraction uh, in Stockholm. And I didn't want to read the reviews because I wanted the surprise. So, this museum, Carolina, it's a museum for a old oh. Swedish battleship that was sunk at some point. It spent 300, more than 300 years on the bottom of the ocean. It's sank on its maiden crazy. voyage. No? Yeah, so it was pretty crazy to imagine they can make such a big mistake. And so, as a result, I think it had been out of harbour for oh, less than yeah. an hour, less than half an hour maybe. But as far as I seem to understand it, the king absolutely wanted it to have so many cannons. So, it seems to have been a, a new design of, of warship. It's pretty cool. To it's make something kind of super, a, super, super strong. It's kind of the a only problem is it couldn't float. <laughs> how much skill there was at this area already, but how ridiculously stupid was the politics at the same time. Still make, still the same. Still make stupid mistakes nowadays with yeah, construction. That's what it should have looked like. Sad, eh? What do you reckon, Carolina? You'd like to work in somewhere like that? Two toilets for 200 people. I'd definitely say that the, the Vasa Museum is a must-do if you ever find yourselves in Stockholm. We've got a couple of hours left wandering back to the hotel before we start the real reason that we're in Stockholm, the visit to the North Face store, and then a training session later in one of the boulder gyms. Podcast. A podcast on what with who? I assume the subject is going to be uh, your grandness and my, uh, my wickedness. My petitude. <laughs> and even if the subject's not, then I'll edit the vlog to make it look like that. So that's the husky. Collecting stories. Well, that fits in pretty well with Once Upon a Climb. 
Right, so we are in a very fancy studio um, on the upper floor of some building in downtown Stockholm. And basically... I, I know, you know, before... Let's see what people think about it. Before you would film yourself when talking. Yeah. And now you film the nothingness when talking. I don't know what's worse. I don't film nothingness, I film you. Because you just interrupted me and I know that you're going to interrupt me. All the time. So... Oh yeah, let's go back to the old times. <laughs> but the problem is I don't know if anything's going to be in focus. I can't see anything. Oh, anyway, no one really cares because no one really watches. A great hairstyle, clean hair, perfect. It's fine for the podcast. Okay. <laughs> we say face made for radio. Six months ago, I decided to start uh, trying to do vlogs. Ah, now he wants week. to become a YouTube star. No, he doesn't. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I guess not if you I've want seen to know. Le, Le Bronx. Oh, yeah. And it's the funniest thing I've ever seen on YouTube. Well, on YouTube? The funniest thing ever on YouTube. <laughs> ever. Even more funny than Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> Even funnier. Even funnier. Yeah. There you go. You heard it here first. But hold on. See, Carolina. You didn't edit the box. Yeah, but I start. I created. Idea, but... <laughs> I produced. <laughs> he it, carried it. This is credit <laughs> to Pietro, not to you. <laughs> yeah. Credit where credit's due. And, uh, since then, he's been filming himself... All the time. Telling uninteresting things all the time. Not myself. Sometimes you talking about <laughs> uninteresting subjects. That. He films himself doing uninteresting things and he always turns the camera to me when I'm in the middle of yelling at him. So <laughs> <laughs> I come out to you know how we were talking about editing editing the audio to, to do whatever you want. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Is Caroline really a witch? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> So with all the excitement, I totally forgot to film <laughs> any of the store and the entrance. He's and always picked the worst moment. Yeah, I guess he's one of This. So Carolina, since you're more pretty than I am, you can explain everybody what's going on. We're going to a climbing gym and uh, yeah, I think the bus is completely packed. So it's the Northwest Formula of uh, Mountain Athletics in Cities. Tonight, uh, they have the pleasure to meet Karen James. So us. I'm flying just being third person, you know, <laughs> and uh, and we'll talk a bit and then uh, climb. So yeah. cool. Essentially, the first time that you've done one of these events now. Yeah, it's so you're sure. pretty technically, uh, technically, I did the excited. one with you in uh, what was it uh, with the commando active in uh, in northern England. That's when you had to pull the big heavy rope that was covered in dog shit. Yeah. Hopefully, and this one. Everybody one's was like, "Oh, this is amazing! I know this is shit, literally <laughs> shit." <laughs> Less stinky than, than that. <laughs> oh, that was the best one yet. Good job. Cheers.